here. We are purposed. God put us here. He still has us here for his great glory and his great fame. No matter what we've been through, no matter what we've done, no matter how, how awful we think of ourselves, no matter the shame we believe, the lies we believe, God wants to use that for his glory. You know, I think oftentimes we believe, we believe this lie that we need to keep our sin, though we've been forgiven, we need to keep it shut up in a closet. And, and in that closet, in that dark, because we're not talking about it, the enemy tells us lies. Yeah. Yeah. But it's when, we, it's when we open the closet door to our sin and we begin to speak about it, we begin to talk about it, that the enemy loses his grip on us. You know, we allow the light of God to shine down on our sin. And now Satan's like, what do I do with that? You know, what do I do? Like, I can't, I can't, she's, she's glorifying God. She's making God famous with what the enemy meant for our destruction. God wants to use for his fame. And so I think that when we begin to speak about our sin, we begin to talk about what God has done. Um, we, we also, I think, set other people free too, right? Because they get the bravery that they need to share their story. And then that person shares their story and then they set people free. And it just goes on and on as God is greatly glorified and greatly made famous. And, and, uh, and he's, he's pleased with that. And we live into our purpose. We, this life that we've auditioned for is now purposeful.